OpenGL is a connectivity framework or a, a mesh network or a network layer. And one of the things that we try to do with TailScale is like connect things that were otherwise not connectable. And if you look at the, the, the internet as it is today, a lot of stuff is not connected anymore like it used to be even 20 or 30 years ago when everything used to have a direct connection to everything else. And so nowadays you have to go up to the cloud and back. And so TailScale is one of these things where we, we really focus on fixing really low level details that some of us have even forgotten or broken in order to connect things that haven't been connected. Our very, very first customer when we founded was a bank in Canada. And this bank had software that didn't support what's called two-factor authentication, right? They, the software didn't handle this, you know, those codes you get, SMS on your phone or whatever that protects you against password phishing. And they needed that added. And so my proposal was why don't you move all of those servers onto a network and make that network require two-factor authentication. And so we had to build the software for that, and we had to do it quickly because they had an audit coming up. So we helped them put this together, and that was the first version of TailScale. It was like literally built in a weekend to let them do two-factor authentication to connect to their own servers on a network that was in another room. Mm -hmm. um, and it grew from there to being like a much more, uh, much more sort of advanced system. And now we now have millions of users and tens of thousands of customers. TailScale is as popular as it is because there's an open source version. People love it. People share it with their friends. It turns into word of mouth, and that's what leads to business. Cloud is a little bit overblown. Everybody loves the cloud, but everything has evolved to now the cloud is a tax on every single bit of software that gets developed. And so I like to think of it as like if you're looking for the bottleneck in a system, the bottleneck of the system is who gets to charge the tax. And right now, Amazon gets to charge the tax on so any software you try to run which is an amazing accomplishment for Amazon. They're a great company. They've put themselves right exactly where they were needed. But they're only needed because we can't figure out how to just connect a computer to another computer without going to the cloud and back.